Hello, everybody, and welcome to another daily devotion. Uh, I am Pastor Adam, and uh, today I have a, a short little encouraging message uh, to those that are graduating. I mean, this Sunday, we're going to take some time to really celebrate those that are graduating from high school, going to college, and those going from college out into the world. So uh, I want to speak a little bit of encouragement about that because with that, we know that there comes a lot of change. There comes to a lot of, uh, of things that we have to adapt to. And this, this message also speaks to everyone else, all of us too, because change happens and the way we are able to adapt to that change is very crucial. You see, change can, can come about us in many different ways. It could come about us very quickly and suddenly, and so we are left not knowing how to react or being capable of reacting, uh, you know, effectively. And so that change requires us to be able to adapt and, and, and also to not be distracted by those sudden changes that come about you in your life or in a certain situation. And that makes it very difficult. But see, there's one thing throughout all these changes that should stay consistent. And that's your relationship with God. And so, you know, the, the, the thing about all these changes is that they're going to change. They're going to be different. They're going to come in. They're going to rock your world. They're going to shake things up. But none of that should really affect your relationship with God. It's going to test it. It's going to push it to its boundaries. But if, one, if something is going to stay the same and stay consistent through everything in your life, it should be the truth and the word of God. It should be what, what, what God is pouring out into your heart and pouring out into your life and, and what he's saying to you through scripture, through uh, pastors and teachers and, and, and good godly people in your life who are speaking truth to you. Those are what stays consistent. That is what continues to help you uh, battle and, and continue serving Christ through those changes, through adapting to the, the constant uh, changes that come your way. You know, we look at instances in the Bible uh, such as David. Uh, he went from being this, this, you know, growing, renowned warrior and, 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 and part of Saul's uh, you know, army and just highly dependent upon to being on the run and hiding for a big part of his life. Uh, he went from being on top to being hidden like that. And it took a long, you know, constantly changing journey for him to rise back up and become king uh, the way that God had designed. And we look at New Testament, we look at Saul. He went from being a, a prominent religious figure and, and leader and, and growing in that knowledge and understanding to uh, being constantly imprisoned or or in, or you know just destitute or on all these things like that based upon him serving for God. So as you have noticed uh, with this video, the constant changes in scenery and background. The, 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 the thing about making videos is that's one thing you don't do. You don't do anything to distract to take away from what you're trying, what your message is. And so, even though the background and the scenery has changed constantly, uh, my words shouldn't have been. My words and, and the words of God should be, always be consistent. And so, uh, that's where we want to do in our life. Even though everything around us can, uh, changes suddenly and we're unaware of it, we're, we're not expecting it, the word of God in your life should always stay true, should always be consistent. And so you graduates, whether you're going into college, whether you're, you're going out into the workforce, whether some of you are, are going into the military, there's going to be significant changes that you're aware of, that you know of that are going to come your way. And then there's going to be moments where you don't know that they're happening. You're, 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 it comes upon you suddenly and quickly and unexpectedly. And so with that constant changing and adapting and being able to, to know how to react to that, I hope that, and I encourage you that you keep your relationship with God where it needs to be. Think of Saul, think of Paul, as, as, as Saul went from being that religious leader to being on fire for Christ, and that was one thing that was consistent in his life. Whether he was 
uh, lost at sea, whether he was exiled, whether he was in prison, uh, from this prison to that prison, this prison, you know, wherever it was constantly changing his life, God was consistently in his relationship. God was consistently with him. He was consistently in the, in the, in the word. So no matter what is going on around him, no matter what distracting things are going on in your life, this should always stay the same. And even though many of us aren't graduating or moving on in a different phase in life, we always are constantly dealing with something that life's throwing at us. And so we need to make sure that we're not allowing all this background noise to distract us from hearing the truth, hearing the word. And, you know, it's very true in, in today's world how we are constantly adapting to, to something new, to something different, the way things are. And a lot of us are getting to the point where we're tired of having to deal with all the change and having to deal with, with something new and different. But you know what? We cannot let that distract us from what is truth. We can't let that distract us uh, and, and pull us away, pull our focus away from what matters most. And if we allow it to, if we allow these changes and we aren't able to adapt to the new obstacles that come in our life, then we're going to continue to just get drowned in all these things and we're not going to be aware of it. That's how the enemy works. He's very subtle and, and wants to just, enough, just nudge you enough off course to where it's going to take you a long time to figure out that you're, you're being pulled, your focus is being pulled away from the main goal. And so consistently staying in the Word, consistently keeping your heart and mind open to God speaking to you from reliable sources from godly sources then you're going to be able to navigate these changes to stay consistent and it's going to help feed your relationship with god uh, through whatever season of life you're in so i hope this has encourages you i hope this is something that you needed to hear um, and maybe not right now but maybe later on maybe you know somebody who needs to hear this now but there are so many moments in scripture so many moments and people in the bible where we know that they were faced with constant changes and obstacles in your life. And how they reacted to it, how they adapted to it, matters. And some do, do it uh, better than others. But we can see from the ones that we want to be a role, you know, that we want a role model in our life, is that through those constant changes, there was one thing that always remained steadfast and immovable, and that was a relationship with God. So staying focused and locked in on that goal will help you adapt to any changes that come in your life. So thank you so much for tuning into this. Let me say a quick prayer. Father God, thank you so much uh, for who you are, Lord. I lift up to you and celebrate these graduates this year, God, and the day we're able to go through this last school year <clears throat> uh, as best as they possibly could, Lord. I know it's not ideal. I know there was a lot of things they probably missed out on God, and, and, and looking forward to the future looks a little bit even shakier than it normally would be, Father. But I pray that you continue to send the right people into their lives, to send encouragement to them, uh, and let them know that no matter what changes and, and obstacles come their way, God, that they can continue to, to have a relationship with you, and that is what is constant. That is one thing that will never change. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's unshakable. It's immovable, Lord. And they can continue to build upon that to help them overcome the changes in their life. To whatever life, the, this world and life may throw at them, God, they are able to adapt to it according to your word and the, what the, according to the plan that you have for them. And Lord, even for the rest of us, as we continue to go through about our days and our lives, Lord, that, that we are able to stay focused on you and, and, and know where that finish line is and that that goal is where you want it to be in our lives, Lord. And we stay focused on that. We don't get distracted by things going on around us, Lord. We don't allow it to pull our focus away from what matters most. But we rely upon you and your word. Thank you so much once again for who you are and what you do in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And remember, there's going to be a lot of change in the season ahead. And no matter what, how big or small it might be, but always, constantly look to the Word, look to God for guidance, for peace. Sometimes change is going to happen. We just need peace about it in our lives to be able to, to get to the other side of it. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you Sunday. Take care.